It's the largest parade in the South Bay, but no one has marched in it for two years. Now there's an effort to bring the popular parade back. Covering the South Bay, 10 News reporter Joe Little reveals the largest hurdle holding back the holiday tradition. The annual Starlight Parade was a staple in Chula Vista for almost 50 years. Everyone loved the parade. Ladies and gentlemen. Community coming together, kids walking down the street. It was, it was a lot of fun. All I want for Christmas is my chill front teeth. It would start early with street performances and in at night with a mile and a half parade. But the last Starlight Parade was in 2011. The parade was first canceled last year because this plaza here on 3rd Avenue, which is the main parade route, this was under construction. It was canceled again this year simply because no one wanted to pay for it. With the economy being the way it, it has been, I think it's understandable. Mike Spethman has lived in the South Bay City his entire life. The city council candidate says the minimum $40,000 price tag is a tall order when the city still has to pay for cops and streets. Is it priority number one? Maybe not, but it certainly is. Uh, something that brings everyone out. When you have a community event like that, it's near and dear to your heart. And the 3rd Avenue Village Association couldn't afford it when the city asked the organization to carry all the costs. It's an extremely difficult decision to make. Now the city council has created a committee to explore new ways to pay for the parade. I think it's an awesome idea. It's too late for this year, but thousands of fans hope for a return of the Starlight Parade in 2015. Covering the South Bay. Very important to the community. Joe Little, 10 News. Well, budget issues also forced Chula Vista to cancel its annual 4th of July fireworks celebration.